uh, that is a great attribute of success. If uh, people are clean, organized, then they can be successful. We as a people, as Africans, uh, with social media, if you look at the kind of comments that these graduates or this young generation are meeting, when we were growing up, we didn't see that. Which means the knowledge that this, uh, our young children need to fight and to become successful should be upgraded. Other than that, all of them will finish school and they will be queuing at the Canadian Embassy looking for visa to travel. And so it means that we produce the people and they become a factory feed to the West. I think that we must challenge that. And so one of the things that I'll tell the graduates is that you have to have confidence as Africans and have pride to be from here. If you have that, whether you are the first in the class or you are the last, your confidence will eventually pay off in life. Maybe you may not be academically so strong, but you came with a gift. You came with a talent. Focus on that and develop it. The other thing that you will need is your absolute honesty. We need that. Somebody said that the poor man's capital is his honesty. And we look around us, uh, our ethics, we have to do a lot of good work. And so, if you're here as a new, as a graduate, if you don't hear anything today, make sure that as you grow, make, majority of you are around 15 years now. The next 10 years, if there are things that you need to master, master your confidence as an African, work on your ethics, and be a person who is hard working. Don't be lazy. And the, 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 the inputs that your parents have given you show strong respect to them. And half goals, half goals. You decide what you want to become. The advantage that you have had from the school is that you can read, you can write. The rest, nobody can tell you who you cannot become. Okay, some of you will become doctors, engineers, police officers, teachers, pastors, politicians. And many of us will have to become business people. The idea that we have to complete school and somebody will give us a job, if you look at the statistics, even from the investor level, we are producing a lot. Maybe over 300,000. If you put training colleges and all together. And how many businesses are we opening? Not few, very few. Which means that the skill for our graduates to come out and build something for themselves are the, are the skills that we must promote. So you don't have to be 30 years to start to learn that. This is the time. If your mother is a market woman, from now to the time you go to secondary school, help her. Okay? Go there. If your father is a blast, a blast mate, go there and help him. Whatever that your parents do that they have taken care of you, that is a good area to build something from. Because you grew up with it. And you have a lot of knowledge in that. Never look down upon the work that your parents do that they have used to take care of you. And don't say that, hey, I want to become a doctor, so my mother is selling my money in the market. No. Because the doctor, those who are doctors or engineers, they know that they cannot depend on one source of income. All right? And as a matter of fact, if you look at the statistics, you will see. So the other thing that you need to study from now into your adulthood is to educate yourself financially. It's not something that we promote. And so a lot of us live in wealth, but because of that kind of education, we are ignored. All right, so there are so many things that outsiders come here to create opportunity. And because we don't have that kind of education, we cannot see the opportunities that are around us. That is why many of our people are organizing 20,000 pounds to become cleaners in England. What is lacking is we don't know what to do with our money. And so educate yourself. That kind of education, the school may not so much extend it. And so that is one of the things that you have to give to yourself. As a matter of fact, Madame was, say, was saying it, education is lifelong. You don't quit.
and where you become successful in life is where you become a continual somebody who studies all your life okay so this is one area that you have to know and never give up when you meet challenges solve them be somebody who is resilient who is tough who can fight and win all right you must be somebody who does not just say uh, i tried is enough when you still don't have the results those who are able to stand when everybody else has fallen are the ones who eventually become successful in this life so these are the things that you must and read get books and read i'm not talking of morning devotion get knowledge human beings operate with knowledge so if your knowledge is not good your life will be complicated because every day you're making decisions with the knowledge that comes to you and so you need to say that i am making decisions therefore i must always have the kind of knowledge that will help me and you connect with good people your network will establish whoever you become just a phone call can change your life forever and one of the best skills that you have in government schools which i think the other people especially the private people don't have is your social skills you have strong social skills when you come here and you call any of the students they just come go to the private schools and see they will just look at you <laughs> because those ones have become british and americans and we thank god that you are in the majority which means that there's hope there's hope for our country when people are saying that our education has gone down most often it's the crutches and the madam their children that they have sent to the the other school these other ones they can easily be corrected and that is a strong attribute that you need to become successful in life. All right, so don't say that I went to Saito. No, I went to Saito, I went to Pokhara School. I went to do engineering at uh, KNUSC. I went to do another engineering somewhere. And I came back and I said that I will build business. The attributes that I needed were the things that I went through, going through that kind of education. All right, so you have everything to become whoever you want to become. And so decide it. Decide it and become it. And our country is great. Don't just look at the negative side. Because every day our parents are telling us, uh, and I'm sure that when you go to secondary school, you're going to meet that from the teachers as well. They're actually getting business for you to go. And so I wonder, sometimes I ask myself, so who should build our country? And so we have to put in you that you are the ones to sacrifice so that the next generation uh, will be the kind of generation that we need. Look around. Everybody comes to Ghana and they create wealth. Everybody. Look at the Indians. Look at the Chinese. Look at the Europeans. Where are the Africans? They say that there's nothing here. Let's change our language. Let's feed our people with positivity, with skill, and let's be proud as a people. So, uh, just have dreams and become whatever you desire to become. And God is with us. So be proud, be confident, be positive as Africans. Thank you very much.